Kia ora everyone, hello again. Uh, today I want to share a quick note on saving your own seeds and specifically seeds for members in the brassica family which is no also known as the cabbage family because they're super easy to save. So the cabbage family or the brassica uh, family um, is very recognizable, easy to recognize by the typical flowers um, on the long shoots uh, with four petals and often yellow but not always the case there's also white flowers um, mustard kale cabbage broccoli cauliflower all of them fall into the same family this is sprouting broccoli and it's not as far along uh, in the setting seed phase because over here you can see the tiny seed pods as compared to the mizuna which is basically a, a rocket salad kind of a uh, plant um, but these seed pods are pretty much ready to be harvested and I'm going to do so because as you can see on this side over here uh, the finches that come and visit our garden uh, also really enjoy the seeds and I don't mind sharing but I ran out of Mizuna seed so I definitely need to harvest some new ones. Couldn't be more straightforward you grab some secateurs or scissors or maybe even a knife and what I'm going to do is uh, just above the soil level oh, I'm going to give them a, a quick snip and snip off all the um, plants and I do so by doing so um, the roots will slowly decompose and feed the soil and I have plenty of plant matter that's going to be remaining on the stems because once I harvest them I'm going to hang them up to dry like this so then you have all the liquids and nutrients will, um, by gravity, go feed and finish up the seeds because, as you can see, they're still green and we want them to be dark and brown and ready to harvest. So this is going to be heaps of seed. I like to have a bunch of seeds so I can just scatter around everywhere where I want and need it. Um, and this is the sprouting broccoli as you can see on the side and the one of the benefits of letting your plants go to flower is that there's going to be heaps of food for all the bees around and they're going to nibble on this and with the sprouting broccoli I saved the seeds last year and because I had huge amounts I don't need to do that this year and one final thing that you can do is the tops of the flowers are very nice and tasty in your salads uh, all right just like this you can eat them nice and sweet a bit of a mustard flavor so it's not only still um, after they go to flower, they're still edible, and you share with the flowers and the bees and the honey. Uh, and the, and the, and the, and the, oops. 